democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Protests are continuing to take place across the country, following the publication of a leaked Supreme Court opinion that reveals the court is preparing to overturn Roe v. Wade, the landmark decision that established a constitutional right to abortion in the United States. On Tuesday, Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts confirmed the leaked document is authentic, but said it's only a draft opinion. Roberts has launched an investigation investigation into the leak. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris both spoke out in defense of reproductive rights Tuesday. Harris spoke at a gala hosted by Emily's List. If the court overturns Roe v. Wade, it will be a direct assault on freedom, on the fundamental right of self-determination, to which all Americans are entitled. Legal experts are warning the overturning of Roe could pave the way for the conservative justices to also end same-sex marriage and access to contraceptives. On Tuesday, Congress member Pramila Jayapal spoke at a protest in Seattle, Washington. There is a straight line from upending abortion rights to getting rid of access to contraception to banning gay marriage. And our low income communities, our black and brown communities, our LGBTQ communities will be the ones who pay the steepest price because abortion won't go away. But safe and legal abortion will, endangering millions of people. On Capitol Hill, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the Senate will soon vote to codify abortion rights into law. But the efforts expected to fail, even though Democrats control both houses and the president. Nahum, chapter 3, and it from verse 1, and it reads, Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. Verse 4. It says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredom, and families through her witchcraft. Behold, I am against thee, says the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile. And will set thee as a gazing stock. Food shortages, famine, high inflation, collapse of the current financial system, third world war at the door, supply chain bottlenecks, gas price. At all time high. Yes, this is a distraction. This is a distraction. Because eventually you have to pay the piper. Eventually your people are going to stand up. Eh? They're going to request. They're going to require answers. But you're not going to have any answers for them. Because why? This is the Lord's doing. Family, don't be deceived. This is the Lord's movie. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakudash. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh. For blessing us with his only begotten Son, the Redeemer of Israel. The conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. The bright and morning star, the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. The King of kings. The Lord of lords. His name is Yahweh Shai. 
the book of revelation verse 18 let's read verse 1 starting from verse 1 the book of revelation chapter 18 verse 1 it says and after these things i saw another angel come down from heaven having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon babylon the world favorite harlot aka america the great is fallen is fallen and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird for all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacy these are her philosophy okay This is what they push. This is what they're trying to sell to the whole world. Yes. The Lord said multiply and be fruitful. But yes, they put the word behind them and they do as they will. But this is the Lord finally putting America on on a full blast, family. They can't hide. Eh? They can't hide anymore. All the things that are happening around the world today family the topic of this lesson is don't be distracted. Don't get distracted family. All of a sudden somebody leaked a report about abortion right. Family I don't know about you but family when I walk into the grocery store and the stuff that I was paying a dollar for right now is 2 dollars. Gas price is all time high. Inflation is all time high. But the devil, this is what he's given you to focus on. But we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. We thank the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for opening our eyes. This week Pelosi Let's get it. Pelosi was in Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi was in Kiev talking about what? On wavering support for Ukraine. They've lost the war already. But they continue to push more weapon because why? They said they, they said it themselves. They want to weaken Russia. They say one of weak in Russia but they don't know that it is the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that is going to use Russia to bring their kingdom down. They don't know that. At the end of the day the Lord says what? My counsel shall stand. It says my counsel. He didn't say anybody else counsel. Let's go to Isaiah 40. Isaiah 42 Isaiah 42 family is all about glorifying our power Yahweh by Hashem this has nothing to do with me this is about the glory of the most high Yahweh I'm just a mouthpiece that he's using Isaiah 42 verse 8 it says here I am the Lord that is my name and my glory will I not give to anyone neither my praise to graven images it says behold the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth i tell you of them before it happened he tells us about it what you seeing right now family he told us about this 2 3000 years ago it was written in these books That's why he gets the glory. He says again, he says what? I am the Lord. Isaiah 
verse 8. It said, I am the Lord Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to anyone. Sorry, I will I not give to another. It says, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass. And new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Let's jump to Isaiah 46.10. Let's show you how powerful our Lord is. This is the one that we call upon. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Family, don't get distracted. Nancy Pelosi was in Kiev today. No, sorry, all, all over the weekend. Met with Zelensky. He knows he lost the war. But family, they're still going to supply weapons to Ukraine. Why? They want to weaken Russia. This is about to go. The war is about to start. And this is what we're praying for. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Family, when these things are happening, we give glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem. Because why? He said it was going to happen. Here it says here, 46 verse 9. Isaiah 46 verse 9 says, Remember the former things of old, for I am the power. And there's none else. I am the most higher hour. And there's none like me. There is none like our power, Yahweh. He says, declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. Let's read a little bit of this article. It says, a top level Pelosi. This was ABC News, family. This was published uh, May 1st. It says, Pelosi in surprise Kiev trip vows on bending U.S. support. A top-level U.S. congressional delegation led by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is in Poland after a surprise weekend visit to Ukraine undertaken in extraordinary secrecy. Pelosi, second in line, to the presidency after the vice president was the most senior American lawmaker to visit Ukraine since Russia war began more than two months ago. Only days earlier, Russia bombed the Ukrainian capital while the UN Secretary General was there. This is what I want to focus on. He says here, he says, our commitment is to be there for you until the fight is done. Pelosi is seen telling Zelensky in a video of the meeting released by his office. We are on a frontier of freedom and your fight is a fight for everyone. Thank you for your fight for freedom. The Secretary of Defense, Austin, what's, the, what's his first name? Uh, of the U.S., uh, I can't remember now, it's, it's leaving me. But he said last week, actually, yeah, a week, a little, or maybe a little over a week ago, when he was with Blinken, the Foreign uh, Secretary of State, they were in um, Poland. They said, the comment, this is, this is exactly what he said. They said they're never going to stop until they weaken Russia. This is what is happening, family. On top of everything else that's happening. And now they're telling you. They want to throw this thing in front of you. Abortion rights. Family, don't get distracted. Oh, yes. Family, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. You want to shift your focus? No, this is not for us, family. Our focus is to be on the continue to meditate in the word, continue to trust in our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Psalm. I don't want this thing to be long, family. I don't want this thing to be long. Psalm uh, 33. Psalm 33, 10. It says, The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. And family, when you read this thing, it should comfort you. Because this bottleneck, 
the supply chain. When you walk into your grocery store, the stuff that, like I said, you were paying a dollar for, today is two dollars. And sometimes you can't even find it. Because why? They want to squeeze you to so much that when they bring out the CHIP, that's right. When they make it mandatory, for guess what? Then you have no choice but to take it. Because you got to eat. The family, I'm here to tell you that the Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He said he's going to look after us. He's going to provide. But this is what they're doing. That's what the Lord is saying here. He says, the Lord bringeth the counsel. Whatever they are planning, they are counsel. The counsel of the heathen. This current rulership to not. That means whatever they are planning is not going to come to fruition. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Everything that they are planning to do. Family, I'm here to tell you through the spirit. He gets all the glory. He is the one that told us that this is the last kingdom. And his son, our redeemer, our savior, Yahweh, is taking over after this. So I'm here to tell you that not China, Russia, the African continent, family, nobody's going to be ruling after this place goes down. It is Yahweh kingdom. Our Lord. That's why we're never going to stop until we make Jerusalem a praise once again. Jerusalem was people before it became a place. We are wherever we are. That is Jerusalem. The elect. The Lord is about to do some miraculous things. Family. It says the council. Psalm 33 verse 11. It says the council of the Lord standeth forever. The thought of his heart to all generations. So he's telling you. This is it for this kingdom. Who can go against his counsel? Nobody. That's why he gets all the glory. Their plans are not going to come to fruition. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. They're going to tell you about abortion right and all sorts of debauchery. No, this is not for us, family. Let's focus on our power. How about Hashem? Don't be distracted. First Corinthians chapter 6. Let's start from verse 9. It says here, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of our power? Be not deceived. Listen to this. Neither fornicators no adulterers, no adulterers, no effeminate, no abusers of themselves with mankind, no thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revelers, no extortionists shall inherit the kingdom of our power. Remember, his counsel shall stand. If he's telling you that these kinds, these kinds of people are not inheriting the kingdom of heaven, family, they are not inheriting the kingdom of heaven. They have no else, nowhere else to go. Now all of a sudden, they, they want to tell us what? They want to tell us, here, let's go back. Let's go back and listen to this garbage. Here. A right to abortion in the United States. On Tuesday, Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts confirmed the leaked document is authentic, but said it's only a draft opinion. Roberts has launched an investigation into the leak. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris both spoke out in defense of reproductive rights Tuesday. Harris spoke at a gala hosted by Emily's List. If the court overturns Roe v. Wade, it will be a direct assault on freedom, on the fundamental right of self-determination to which all Americans are entitled. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 49.10. 
49.10. It says here, But I have made Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white. I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled. And his brethren and his neighbors and he's not. He's done. Family. He's done. The Lord is speaking. The Lord is moving. He's about to sweep this place away with fire, nuclear fire. Yes, the Lord is coming. Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha. The Lord, our Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. That's right. The beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. He is coming. He's bringing righteousness onto this planet. That's right. Our heaven. This is Esau's heaven. The, com the coming of our Lord. His rulership. That is going to be our heaven. All this nonsense is never going to happen in the kingdom. It is going to be filled with righteousness. That's right. That's what is coming. That's what is coming. Be not deceived. Don't get distracted. That's right. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Oh yeah, we are not ignorant of Satan devices. Family, like I said, I don't want this thing to be long. But it's just the latest things in the news. And, uh, you know, family, let's keep our eyes on the prize. Our Lord is coming because this is all part of the movie. All these things have to take place. Because, family, there's going to be a huge contrast between this kingdom and the next kingdom to come. Oh, yes. So the Lord is showing you how wicked, how wicked this place is. So when you, they said in order to, to, to appreciate righteousness, you have to learn wickedness. So family, that's why we are here. That's why we are here. We learn the wicked ways, family. Now, the Lord is about to transform us. He's going to about to put his, heart, his, his spirit in us. Give us a new heart. We're going to be perfect and we're going to rule this nation in righteousness. That's right. That is what is coming for the elect. That's what is coming for the elect. Let me see if I can close with this. I think it's... Uh, uh, whew. Is it? Um, I think it's because of unrighteous dealings. <sighs> Kingdom translated, I think it's Kingdom Trans. Oh, whoa. Kingdom Translated. Okay, G, what is this, Ecclesiasticus? Oh, come on. Untranslated. KGV. 10.8. I was there too. Well, family, <clears throat> let's finish with this. Ecclesiasticus chapter 10, verse 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, Injuries and riches got by deceit. These people never deal righteously with anybody. They never look at all the destruction that follows them, all in the name of democracy, family. Look at what they did in Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan. These are just the current uh, country. This is just the recent ones. Now they want to weaken Russia eh? and bring the same debauchery from the West into Russia. Family, that is why the Lord set up Russia to fulfill His will. Remember that. Because this, this says what? It's uh, Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1. It says the Lord, it says what? The king's heart. 
Actually, let me get it. If since I quoted it, let's go to Proverbs 21. 21 verse 1. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. The king, the rulership, the president, family. It's in, and as the rivers of water. Look at, look at, do you look at the, the river? Is it like as the rivers of water, he turneth it, whether soever he will. There's no such thing as self will. No, this is the Lord controlling Putin and his administration to fulfill his will. That's how powerful our Lord, our power, Yahweh is. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, our Redeemer, who is coming on planet Earth to rule in righteousness. So because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches, got by deceit. How did they get their riches? I mean, I don't have to tell you. All the gold that they seized in Iraq... In Libya, destroyed the family. Where are they? They share it among themselves. But remember, these people here, they have never been, they haven't been punished yet. The Lord, Yahweh, is saving everything for the last days. Oh, that's why the Lord is what? It's long suffering. Oh, yeah. The Lord is long suffering. You don't think he sees things? Let me show you something here. I think it's somewhere in Ecclesiasticus 23. Family, let me show you something. Ecclesiasticus, is it 23? I saw it 23 somewhere. Uh, here. It says, listen to this. Such a man only feared the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes, listen to this, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. He knew all things are Ever they were created, so also after they were perfected, he looked upon them. Oh, can you imagine? 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You know who the Lord's eyes are? The angels. They are everywhere. And what? Taking the report. Taking the report to Yahweh. So you cannot hide everything that you have done, Esau. This Edom, everything that they have done, father, family, the Lord has a report. And he's about to recompense. Oh yeah, he's about to pour his, his indignation, which is the righteous judgment, upon their head. Again, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. That's it for you. The kingdom is about to be translated to the rightful owner, Yahweh Shai. And his elect, which Lord willing, we hope we are part of. So, you keep doing what you're doing. That is your lot. That's what you were created to do. So, family, again, this lesson is don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I hope you edify family. Again, all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakodash. Shalom, beloved.
Shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom.